Okay. So Ruben opened a savings account with, let's say he's opening it with $16,000. That paid 4.5% interest compounded annually. Now, compounding is when they calculate the interest. Sometimes they calculate it annually and then break it up like every, every few months. Sometimes they calculate it every month. That'd be nice, but it doesn't happen. Most of the time they're compounding it annually every year. Okay. So this is telling us it's compound interest. Okay. So what we'd like to know is how much money will he have how much money will he have? Let's assume he doesn't take out any money. He just leaves the sixteen thousand dollars, and then let's let's it accumulate compound interest. How much money will he have after? Mm, let's say nine years. Question mark. So we want to know how much total money will he have after nine years. So my question, we have our formula. Will our formula give us the answer just if we plug in the numbers and work it out? Will it be enough just to, in other words, if we plug in the numbers into this formula, it's going to give us an answer for B. Is that what we want? Yeah, totally. Do we want the balance? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we do, actually. So perfect. This formula is exactly what we want. Let's figure it out then. So let's see here. We need a principal, P. Let's write it down. What's our principal? B. Sixteen thousand. We need a rate. That's four point five percent. We should write it as a um, yeah. So zero point zero four five. We need a time. Nine years, and it's years already. Wow, that's not too bad. Super easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it all in. So the balance equals the principal, which is 16,000, right? Parentheses, one plus the .045. Um, I'm going to use the caret because this is kind of how we're going to enter it into our calculator. Are you guys familiar with that symbol, the caret? Yeah. It raises to a power. And what's it going to raise to? Nine. So it's calculator time. Okay. So let's see what this tells us. Uh, we want 16,000 parentheses you can use. We're lucky that these calculators understand that number next to parentheses means what operation? Okay. Multiplication. So we can do it. 1 plus 0 0.045, close parentheses. Then we're going to look for the caret symbol. You see it right, right here? Wow. 
Yeah. Yeah, we got to round it, don't we? $23,777.52. Wow. So Ruben will have... $23,777.52. Not too shabby. Okay. All right. So that would be the power of... Um, Compound interest is the more you leave the money wherever it's sitting and you just let it accumulate compound interest, that the amount of interest you're getting year by year is going to grow. It's going to be getting bigger and bigger each time because the pot that it's drawing from to calculate the interest gets bigger and bigger. So we'll do one more problem and then that'll be it. Yes. Uh, yes. Number two. All right. So Melissa invests. Let's say she has four thousand dollars. And she's going to invest it in a CD. Do you guys know what a CD is? Yeah. What's a CD? <laughs> See, that's what we all know as a CD. And you, know, you ask most everyone, I mean, even an adult, what's a CD? Well, they'll say, yeah, one of those, you know, round silver thingies, you play music or whatever. This, In this case, huh? Yeah. This is a certificate of deposit. What it is, is you're lending these $4,000 to a bank. You're the lender and the bank's taking your money and you're promising, you, you sign a contract with the bank that you promise not to pull out these $4,000 for a set amount of time that you both agree on. And in exchange for that promise, you won't earn like a small interest. Like, to be honest, getting 4.5% on a savings account is a lot. It's really unheard of. They really don't give you much interest. But because you're promising to leave this money there for a certain amount of time, they give you a much better, higher interest rate that they're gonna pay you. So Melissa invests, a $4,000 in a CD, a certificate of deposit for, um, let's say she's going to do it for two years, earning um, let's say 15.8% compound interest. Let's say she, no, let's change it. Um, now two years is fine. We won't really see the whole effect. But yeah, let, let's, let's make it, let's say she wants to leave it in there for 10 years. How much? Will she make an interest after 10 years? So 
So she signed a contract saying, I'm not going to touch that $4,000 for 10 years, but you're going to give me compound interest on the, on, on my, for 10 years. We want to figure out this time how much interest. Okay. Let's see. Will the formula we have be enough? I think it's good. Not, well, it'll tell us the balance, but the balance is going to help us figure out the interest. We're going to have to do a little subtraction at the end. So let's figure out the balance. So for this, we're going to need to figure out the principal, which is how much? We're going to have to figure out the rate, which is 15.8, so 0 0.158. We're going to need to know the time, which is 10 years, All right? So let's figure out the balance, uh, 4,000 times 1 plus 0 0.158 raised to the 10th power. So let's do it. Let's figure this out. We want 4,000 times 1 plus 0 0.158 raised to the 10th power. Um, 173.3. It, it rounded $1,734, I mean, $17,384 rounded to 85 cents. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. So, 17300 What is it? Oh, no, I did too many. I did 40000 Ah. Oh. I'm like, why isn't my amount coming up? Let me delete one of those. Mm. Sorry about that. My my bad. Yeah, seventeen thousand three hundred forty-three dollars and eighty-five cents. All right. So that's how much she made total. That's her whole balance. How do we figure out the interest? How do we figure out how much she made just in interest? Subtract that by four thousand. Yeah. So the interest is going to be the balance minus the principal. So take those $17,343.85 and subtract the original amount that you put in. $13,340.85. So she made $13,343.85. So she's earning back an in interest way more than what she started with. Um, that's What's the, the catch to that, though? That's a good chunk of money, right? Yeah. So the catch is, can she use that money within those 10 years? Nope. It's locked in there. Yeah. Yes. There's penalties. They remember she signs a contract. That in that contract it says you have to pay all these fines if you do take the money out. 
So it's possible that you might be losing money uh, if you pull it out ahead of time. So there's a catch. It's, it's like you lock the door and you swallow the key. Yes. But if you ever wonder how do these mega rich people, how do they stay rich or like these families that have been rich for generations, it's because they have this money saved up and they haven't touched it and the next generation doesn't touch it and the next generation, you know, they, they're they living off the interest. Have you ever heard that term? Oh, I'm living off the interest. If you, As you get older, you hear that. What that means is you have your, you put some money in and whatever interest you're earning every month, that's what you're living off. That's what your month to month living is going off of. But you're making the money work for you. Okay. So basically your day to day living is being paid by the interest earned by whatever money you're saving. That's what living off the interest means. Okay, guys. Um, let's talk about Delta math.